Welcome back. If you've caught us in the last week, you've seen our series on Toledo Walleye players who have moved up from the ECHL to Grand Rapids of the American Hockey League. And in some cases, they come back down again and back up. If you missed it, BCSN Zach Herrick joins us from GR with another look. For the former Toledo Walleye attempting to make it into the National Hockey League, this is the next step. Grand Rapids, Michigan, the home of the Grand Rapids Griffins. <laughs> Their job is to help players get to the National Hockey League and uh, the Walleye, their job is to help those players that aren't quite ready for our league to uh, mold them into pros and uh, they do a great job. Every player that we've sent down to Toledo uh, to get better, they have and when they come back they're, they're, they're improved and I think Dan Watson and Andy Delmore do a fantastic job. The biggest thing was uh, getting my confidence up. I think I got a lot of ice time there, so it was easier, easier to come here and uh, get in the game. And uh, you know, I think just inside of the game, little things like positioning in defensive zone and uh, where where to put my stick, and then definitely playing against older guys. My first year playing uh, against older and uh, pro guys, that was a big experience uh, help for me. Playing in Toledo definitely helped me kind of find my footing as a pro. I spent a lot of time down there my third season and. You know, after that, it kind of springboarded me into a lot of really good seasons up here in Grand Rapids. And, you know, I think it's just the, the level of hockey was, it was always great. And we had a lot of fun down there. And, you know, it just really helped me, like I said before, kind of find my footing. It was awesome. Like, uh, I don't know how many games they sold out so far. I think it's around 20 or something like that. So, uh, I think, I think uh, the fan base is huge. And, uh, and uh, people are coming to the game, enjoy the game. Sold out crowd every night. So, it was good. I have a ton of great memories playing in Toledo. It was always a lot of fun. I mean, I really enjoyed getting getting to play in front of a full building every night, and you know the crowds there were unbelievable, and it made it a lot of fun. It's probably one of my favorite places where I've been playing, and uh, you know the fans there are they're unbelievable. I I it's speechless. It's it's so much fun to play. It's huge support for the players, and. Uh, I'm sure it makes hard for uh, the other teams to come to Toledo and play. Despite how good Toledo is, they always have guys moving on up, um, and that just shows you know the work and dedication they have to the commitment of hockey down there and the program that they have down there. Stacey barreling his way in, he scores! After getting called up, Toledo is not easily forgotten. In fact, the former walleye players love looking back on their time in the glass city. Almost every day we, we talk about it a little bit uh, in different ways and uh, you know it's uh, definitely good that we have good uh, close friends here and uh, play together there and now we can play together here so it definitely makes all of us probably uh, more comfortable so it's, uh, it's helping us for, for sure. As the Red Wings themselves go through a little bit of a rebuild, they're relying on the young talent to steal the show. That's why the Walleye and Griffins play such important roles. Now it's the second wave of players that has to come up and um, you know take the spots of the Zetterberg, um, Lidstrom, those guys that are getting older. Lidstrom's retired, obviously, but now it's the time for the second wave, and that's our job uh, with Toledo and ourselves to, to mold these players into NHLers.